Hi guys, this is my dining table, just in case you don't follow my channel often enough to know what's going on here. Not enough room in my workroom, so I've had to work down here. Right, what are we doing today? I've got a bit of styrofoam uh, insulation board that I've used in fact, that's the offcut from a hot wire cut aeroplane. That's just what was left over, or a bit of what was left over. I've got some fairly dark coloured acrylic paints, acrylic, um, that I want to make a sort of brownish colour with. I'm going to cut this into a fairly nondescript shape in response to a joke suggestion by Mike Flight. Okay, I'll try and do a rubber band powered version first and then if that works I might make a pop pop boat version. Not going to say any more now. I will be using my nail on a stick heating it up to carve a shape and then paint it a sort of dark browny colour. Not sure if the camera will pick up the outline that I've drawn on there. I'm now just going to use my nail on a stick heat it up to cut that out in that general shape with a bit of rough edges to it. Right, it's not completely dry yet. I left it overnight. But if I touch it in the right place, there's still, still some way to go. So we're not going to be putting that in the water yet. But I think I've got the right effect that I was looking for. I think you can tell what it looks like. Next is to make it rubber band powered. So I'm going to rig up a propeller uh, somewhere here. Yeah, I've got a bit of tin plate left over from a can I took apart. That was a spray paint can. So I'll make a propeller out of that. Um, I'll put a wooden stick across the bottom that'll do it's not straight but it will do so we can have the little bracket coming down there for the propeller um, bearing 
and a hook at the back. I might even put a rudder on there as well, so it's all on one piece. That's my usual way of making a propeller. Cut out three of those. I can just see the battery's about to end on the camera. So I've done this enough times, I don't think I really need to demonstrate it. But then this may be the first of my videos that you've watched. They're getting a bit worn out. There we go. That's my propeller. Then we just twist it. solder a piece of wire in the middle there for the shaft. I just realised I said something quite deep just now. I've made quite a few of these and they're more or less the same. So I'm going to try and do something a little bit different for the bearing. Still got some of this tin plate. I'm going to fold it up so that we can bend a couple of taps over and have the shaft going through two little holes there. And then I'll bend the rest of that round my uh, wooden stick. You'll see what I mean when I've done it.
trying to squeeze the last few bits of power out of the battery, so I don't know if we quite caught that last bit. So that's our hook for the rubber band. I need a bead on there. should do. So I'll go and solder that in place. There we are. That's our propeller. That'll do for our rudder. I'll just solder that on, on there. our rudder. So drill a hole through there to fit that in place. Well the paint seems to have dried on there which is good. My propeller assembly is finished. So I've got my rudder, uh, propeller Pivot, what do you call it? Bearing surface, support, assembly, uh, hook on the front there, rubber band. I put that ring just there that I've made out of a bent paper clip so that I can actually take the rubber band off the propeller and wind it up separately. So I'm going to hot glue this onto the bottom of the boot and then the plan was to go out and try it in the paddling pool. But as you can probably hear, it's raining. So the plan is, I'll carry on and glue it in place. If it stops raining fairly soon, we'll go out and try it. If it doesn't, we might have to put it in the bath. I'd rather not put it in the bath because I don't want to waste the water. So we'll see. Hot glued in place. So it should look like something brown and yeah, floating on the water. I could have been more uh, imaginative with the shape I suppose but we'll go with that for now. So this is the winder I've made, it's another paper clip so I can unhook the rubber band from the propeller then I can wind it up and then hook it back on the propeller. Something like that, and you unclip that from there, clip it over there, and then away we go. I wonder if it stopped raining enough. It's still spitting. Right, still raining. I just want to give this a little try. So, how are we going to do this?
bent the propeller over so it should go to the left, but I don't think that'll be enough to turn it in this circle. <laughs> yeah, it's still going. So, question is, does that look like something unpleasant floating on the water? Because that was the joke suggestion that I had. I was going to call it a floater boat. And if we can actually convert it to a pop-pop boat, it will be a pop-pop poop-poop floater boat. Still got a bit of power in there. Just not enough to turn the propeller when it's in the water. I'll go and wind it up again. Right, I've wound it up again. I've lubricated those beads with a bit of grease and the sun's shining. So we'll try again. There we go, a floater boat, a rubber band powered floater boat. From a suggestion by Mike Flight. So thanks Mike. But we will see if we can make it into a pop pop boat. Pop pop poop poop. Yeah, my grandchildren would be proud of me. Quick summary while the sun is shining on it. We have a rubber band powered uh, boat that's supposed to look like, yeah, stuff that probably get me blocked on YouTube I suppose. A floater boat. I'm rather proud of the propeller assembly that I made there from bits of scrap tin plate cut from an old spray paint can. That worked out nicely. Then bent paper clip for the shaft, bent paper clip for that little circle to help us detach it so we can wind up the rubber band separately. Bent paper clip at that end to hook the rubber band onto. Uh, the wooden stick comes from a November the 5th or Guy Fawkes night rocket that landed in our garden so that cost me nothing and the foam was scrap foam leftover insulation left from our conservatory when it was built it's quite nice with the sun on it isn't it catching the metallic effect that was metallic paint <laughs> 